All right, let's talk about the New York Giants. They have a tough, tough uh, situation coming up here in week four uh, as they have to go and uh, play the New Orleans Saints on the road. I uh, got a chance to watch the Saints firsthand against the New England Patriots in week three. And this defense is one of the more underrated defenses in the league. They got to Mac Jones with regularity. 11 hits on the quarterback. And we're not talking about a poor offensive line. Now, sure, there's some issues at right tackle for the Patriots with Trent Brown being out. And, you know, many people have never been in love with Isaiah Wynn as left, at, at left tackle. So we're not talking about necessarily a perfect offensive line, but... Before the season started, the Patriots would have been considered one of the top offensive lines in the league, especially from a run game standpoint. But in pass protection, not slouches either. The Saints with Cameron Jordan and the like got in the backfield with regularity. Mac Jones was under the rest most of this game, right? Now, we're comparing Joneses here, right? So we've done Mac Jones and Daniel Jones. I know Mac Jones' career is only uh, three games long at this point. But from what I've seen of him and watching Daniel Jones throughout his entire career, we're talking about who protects the ball and takes care of the football. Mac Jones has shown much more of a tendency of taking care of the football than Daniel Jones has over obviously a much larger sample size. Against this defense, I'm going to tell you guys right now, from a, if you are Giants fans, I would be terrified at this upcoming week. And obviously, if I'm Joe Judge and I'm Giants offensive, the entire all the entire offensive coordinator, everybody on that side of the ball has to be harping to Daniel Jones to take care of this football this week because this Saints defense hawks. They had three interceptions against Mac Jones uh, on in on Sunday. They get pressure on the quarterback. If the Giants are not able to establish a run game, and Daniel Jones has to put the ball up thirty or more times. Is going to be a really long week and what's already been a tough season for the Giants is going to get even tougher. Keep your eyes on this situation. Daniel Jones has got to play better than he has been playing and he's got to take better football, better care of the football than he has been as well.